Hi gang, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I just got home from work and I have this in the mail. I don't know if you can read that. But we're going to do first ever unboxing of an old man in the woods. Stick with us. I build a fire. Probably going to be a lot of traffic noise and stuff because I'm home. I'm at, I'm at my house. But I wanted to take this opportunity because I just got back from working. And this came in the mail today. It is a package from Wazoo Survival. And let me preface this whole thing by saying almost two years ago I kicked in some money on uh, not Facebook but Kickstarter for this and I'll show you what it is well three months went by six months went by and they kept saying oh we're having trouble getting a belt buckle and da 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 it's a cash belt is what it is Finally, a year later, I canceled. I said, I'm done with it. Don't send me anything. Don't charge me anything. Just forget it. Well, apparently they didn't get the message. So here it is from Wazoo Survival. My cash belt. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, now as I said, this is what's called a cash belt and by that you're supposed to be able to put a bunch of stuff in there look at the box look at all them goodies on the box there's a letter right up the top says please note we never anticipated it would take this long to get you your belt anyway and here's the belt and this apparently is the culprit for why it took so long but I don't really see anything different well there's maybe a bottle opener in here is that a bottle opener? yep looks like a bottle opener big deal if you were in the service <clears throat> You had a belt buckle like this, and you used to use it to open bottles anyway. Anyway, moving right along, this, I guess, would be a key carrier or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, from, from about six inches to here is solid belt. Then when you hit here <laughs> it's all sealed with velcro I don't know can you see this probably not hook and loop velcro whatever you want to call it and it is pretty tight and it looks to be like you have maybe an inch from the end of the velcro down into the seam I gotta tell you this is uh, pretty heavy duty webbing and this velcro goes all the way down to here where there's another little golden piece of I wouldn't even say that's paracord just some kind of cord and then you have another maybe a foot of just straight belt 
So, let's see what we got in the box. There's all little things. As I remember, you could order different things to put in the belt. I don't remember ordering crayons. The belt, when it came, it was all folded up and this little ranger band was around it. I opened this yesterday, or earlier today when I first got it. And uh, here's a little card here. Just to see what it was. Yep, bottle opener. Right there, in the belt buckle. Gear loops. That's what these. That's what these are. Gear loops. All right. You can put. Can you read this? Starting over here, you can put fishing tackle, snare wire, jerky stick. That's all listed under food. Okay, signaling. You got a signal. You can put a signal mirror in there, retro rec reflector, a whistle, and a flashlight. Hydration. You got water container, purification tabs, aluminum foil, and instant coffee. Well, everybody knows how much I love instant coffee, right? <clears throat> Navigation. Folded map, copy, button compass. You put a USB drive in there, phone cable, cable adapters, passport copy. Really? Not any passport that I've seen. Money, keys, bandages, wound seal, medication, EDC mini knife, wire saw, micro mini tool, yada yada yada. Alright. So anyway, that's the list of what you can put in there. So let's take a look at what we got to put in the belt. And I'm just going to dump this out and play it by ear. What is this? Nothing. All right. Sodium chloride. couple of ranger bands this is your sodium chloride I would assume that's for water purification yeah catadine catadine whatever a couple of water purification tablets this looks like uh, a couple of little plastic bags this I have no idea what this is little strands of something in there I can feel it moving let's check the list see if it says anything in there zip ties no safety pins this might be cordage It's some kind of, you can see, at the camera, well. Now well, it's not working, but there's little strands of something in there, and if, if they're connected and run back and forth, I can't really tell, but it looks like, yeah, this looks like it might be like a fishing line or something in there. That's kind of cool. Here's your zip ties right here. They're about, uh, oh, maybe five inches long, six inches maybe. That's, well, here's some cordage here. It's not bank line. But it's a braided cord, I guess maybe for using, for tying up tarp or fishing or 
what have you. This this is probably more for fishing. I don't know. This looks like this is tape. I don't know if it's gorilla tape or duct tape, but it is definitely sticky tape. That'll fit in the belt. And then this, a little bag of goodies. Here's your split shot sinkers and a couple of safety pins. I guess that would be your hooks. Here is a ferrocium rod. Is this plastic? That almost feels like plastic. Whatever it is. It ain't gonna start a fire. Maybe use it as a screwdriver. These, I don't know. This might be uh, like a wet fire or, whoops. The wind's taking me away here. Um, maybe some Vaseline soaked cotton balls or something. And here is a whistle. Pretty good whistle. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that I got with my belt that. I had canceled the order on. So let's see how much of this stuff really fits in there and how comfortable the belt is. Lazo survival gear made in the USA. Alright, so I'm assuming that's probably close to the middle. Let me tilt this down a little bit more. We've got to open it up. Now, let's see. Let's put the tape in here. And right off the top, the tape doesn't fit. The tape is too wide. Uh, maybe we can get it closed. Barely. Barely. So that's not a real help. All right, so let's take that out and we'll put in put in a cordage. Can we get that all the way in there without? Yeah, the cordage seems to fit better. But now it's kind of bulky. Might have to take that cordage and stretch it out more. All right, so let's go on this way. And I'm gonna put this little stuff back in this little bag. Cause I don't wanna lose it. this you know what I want to try this well it is putting out spark I'm using my the saw the back of my saw and my letterman here <laughs> the camera isn't fast enough to pick this up but it is making sparks, so so you got some 
fire stuff here, but this that's useless. Oh well, maybe not. Yeah, you'll get a spark out of it. A spark. So anyway, we'll put this back in here. Alright. And I'm just going to wrap this up. Let's see, can we put it in here somewhere? Put it in there. Take these water purification tablets, put the Ranger Band back on here, maybe. Now we can put this in the belt. Sorry. But again, that's a pretty tight fit. For the Velcro. Though it is some pretty tough Velcro. Alright, let's go the other way here. And well. Put in the. These better fit. That. I'll throw on the ranger band. And we still got room over here, so put that gear loop in there because I'm not gonna hang anything off it. We'll put the whistle and my fishing stuff in there. Push down the cordage because it's popping out. All right, now we got room over here. Yeah, I got room over here. So let's try and get that. Oh, almost forgot this stuff. Whatever that is, I'll just shove that in there. Maybe. There's something already in there. All right. Well, let's do it this way. We'll take that out and put this in. Oh. Squishing it in there, tighten it up as much as I can. And where have I got room? I got room right here. Uh, right next to the zip ties. Whatever that is, it goes in there. Okay, so. I got everything in there. So let's see. Let's see how this thing fits. All right, so I took my other belt off. And it looks like the Velcro, the Velcro part goes to the top because here's the buckle. So, let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's 
going through the belt loops. A little bit funky. Right here we go. This opens up here. Just pull it like that, and then you can adjust where you want the belt buckle. I might end up cutting some off, but you're only going to be able to go back to about here. You know, so, for now, I'll just leave it here on the end, and I'll have a lot of stuff left over on the outside here. Pull it tight. Straighten up your gig line. How many of you remember what a gig line is? Huh? And there you have it. And actually, it feels pretty comfortable. Didn't have any problem going through the the belt or the belt loops rather. That feels pretty comfortable. One thing I do want to see. Let's go back a little bit. This is my Leatherman. I've had this thing for almost 20 years, and it doesn't leave my hip very often or for very long. I don't even I didn't even really notice that it's on it's very comfortable I would have thought with all that stuff in the belt it would have been poking you in it's not though very comfortable I was all set to be mad at these guys well, of course I'm not overly thrilled because it took almost two years to get it but I think I might keep it I think it might work. So there you have it, guys. An unboxing, if you will, for the Wazoo Survival Cash Belt. Now, I'll leave a link down on the bottom because uh, I'm sure somewhere... Yep, here's the website right here. WazooSurvivalGear.com I don't know, can you see that? No, right there. But I'll leave I'll leave that link down in the bottom. Hopefully it won't take you two years to get yours. I was in the middle of editing another video to post this week, but uh, maybe I'll post that one next week instead. Because I wanted to get this out. And I was all set to be extremely not happy. But, turns out, I think I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be extremely happy. So anyway, thanks for being here. Once again, my name is Brian. I am an old man in the woods. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.